So this question says, to make a bakery signature chocolate muffins, a baker needs 2.5 ounces of chocolate for each muffin. So I'm gonna write that down, right? So chocolate, we need 2.5 ounces. And in the muffins category, those 2.5 ounces give us one muffin. How many pounds of chocolate are needed to make 48 uh, signature chocolate muffins? So our next line, we know we want to get 48 muffins, but I don't know how many pounds, so X pounds. And we see that the unit here for chocolate changes from ounces to pounds, so that's going to be very important to take care of because we want our units to uh, be the same whenever we do math. And the question does at least tell us the conversion from pounds to ounces. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I'm not going to deal with pounds initially. I'm going to leave this as ounces, and then I will convert it to pounds later on. This way, my units remain consistent. So this is a relationship, right, where I know the connection between 2.5 ounces and one pound. I don't know how many ounces I need for 48 muffins. So what I can do with this is create a proportion, right? So the ratio of chocolate to muffins is 2.5 to 1. And that should be equal to the ratio of chocolate to muffins for the next relationship, which would be x to 48, okay? With this proportion, I can cross multiply. So x times 1, well, that's just x. 2.5 times 48, when I put that into my calculator, what I get there is that that's equal to 120. Now, don't forget this X is representative of 120 ounces, right? So don't run and think that D is the right answer. D is actually not correct because we, we have the unit of ounces. The question wanted the answer in pounds, and it actually underlines it um, so that you don't forget that. So I need to convert these 120 ounces into pounds. That's where the conversion factor here comes in. I'm going to write the 16 ounces on the bottom here so that that unit can cross cancel there. One pound on top so that this new unit can now be introduced, which is the unit that I want. And then it's really just uh, doing the division, right? 120 divided by 16. When I put that into my calculator, what I get is 7.5 five pounds. So therefore, the correct answer here is choice 